Yeah, I'm going to give my little quick review of what I think about this DeWalt 34 PSI pressure washer. Well, I want to say that it is a great machine. And that's it. Um, I really like it. The reason I bought it is because I wanted to use it to make more money doing some other jobs. And I wanted to get something reliable. Something that I didn't have to buy over and over again or think about getting parts for it or none of that stuff. I said, let me go get out the heavy duty. I'm going to be doing mostly commercial and like residential stuff, people's houses and driveways and stuff like that. But if I want to go out and like say hit a parking lot or a side of a building, I can do this with this pressure washer. It's amazing. With this GS200 motor, it starts up on the first or second pull. I don't even care if it's from like a cold choke or whatever. I live in Georgia and then it starts up second pull, no questions. I always run like 93 octane gas in it. It says to run that ethanol stuff, 10% or whatever. That's good if you can get a hold of it, but I run high octane in it and um, it, it, it starts up and runs great for me. Um, I went ahead and got a couple little extra attachments from um, Walmart. These little extra hose tubes with these little release valves here, open, close and stuff, you know. I don't know. I'm always tricking shit out. I don't care what it is. I'm always adding stuff on making it a little bit more personable but it kind of works good when you have these little quick detachments like this and stuff you know I can just detach this from the hose and it clamps up every time none of that screwing stuff so that makes it easy for me um, this little handle here um, controls how much um, pressure is in it I forget if it's righty more or left loose I don't know this thing this lets out of a hell of a lot of pressure and I never have to complain or actually look for more I just hold that nozzle a little bit closer and it does the job. I mean, it'll rip, it'll rip concrete up. If you hold it on concrete, bro, it will rip the concrete up after a while. I'm telling you. The little beads of concrete will be hitting your leg. You say, what the hell? Anyway, this, I don't know what this hole is here for. But it's like, I can see it, it's part of the pump. And water goes in there. So I'm like, what the hell? What, what is that supposed to do to the engine when water gets in there? Kind of questionable about that. I just recently started using this nozzle. Um, I didn't, the factory one that it came with, I, I misplaced. Um, so I went out and bought this one aftermarket, about eight bucks, Home Depot. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll take it all the way out and show you what it's all about. It's got this little attachment on here. You can allow it to take in more or less of this fluid in. And I've done about, uh, front of a house. And this is my first time using it, and I'm already to like a half a gallon. But I, I wasted some doing some other stuff. So what I'm going to do now while you guys are here... I'm going to turn down this, crank down this volume as how much it takes out because the house is definitely sully when I do it and I don't want it to be more sully than water and it dry up and I have to work harder. It's a brick house mostly but FYI. Okay. Um, I put oil in this thing man maybe one time when I first got it. They said you got to change your engine oil and all that stuff. I haven't done none of that. And I feel bad. This thing's made me some money. I should at least treat it like one of my girls, you know? Probably my best one because I know she's going to start up all the time. Um, anyway, I went out and I got this attachment today. 30 bucks for that extra, was it 30? 36 inches, 3 feet, plus the original nozzle going on there. Um, it works like a dream cast, I'm telling you. Um, best bang for the buck because you can do a whole lot more house in a short in a you know more of a confined space so, so like when you're trying to peek out there in those ladders and, and reach that spot that's all the way up there man you hold this gun right properly in your hand and let, let it be an extension you gotta have a little arm strength a little bit of muscle a little upper body strength but this thing can work at you know like a like a dream this nozzle I picked this up i don't know what it costs like 10 bucks it's i'll show you the tip of it you twist it and it opens and closes to the amount of stream that you want it's kind of raggedy because if you rub it against the house when you like doing something, it'll go to the big stream. And when you want it to be the little stream, you know, it'll hit and switch and you can't do nothing until you bring it back down and have to hand manually do that. So that becomes a pain in the rumpture sometimes, managing that. Um, putting it on together, went together pretty good. Had to figure it out a little bit, but a little bit of ingenuity and paying attention, at least getting a scene science and kind of figure out some geometry. In math, whatever classes you took in school, you got you wherever you're at. Anyway, but um, brand new, I bought it. After making this video, I'm definitely gonna do an oil change for it. Um, this is the house I'm doing right here, right now. See it? 
I just guys mostly brick. I'm really gonna pay attention to that soffit up there. You see where I placed the ladder? I'm only gonna have to use that ladder one time. I'm not gonna even have to use it on the other side because that extension is so well that I'll be able to get that hole underneath of that roof right there from the extension with my left arm. I got that tree right there. So that's the kind of stuff you gotta think about like when you got the extension and why it helps. And plus, my ladder is short. That's probably like a, a 24 inch ladder. You know, you're going up to the first story right there. You know, it's not really cutting, it's not making it. And it gets more dangerous the higher you go up and shit. So, you know, with that extension, you're definitely gonna save a couple feet from falling on the ground and breaking your grits open. <laughs> FYI. Um, but look at this house, man. It looks freaking amazing. Um, with that extension, I'm able to get all the way up into the top part of that house there. Uh, it had a little bit of uh, mildew on there. I put the soap on there. And with that 24 inch ladder, I can get right all up in there good like gravy. I got the tip of my 30 degree uh, tip all the way to the corner crescent of that house and ran it alongside the edges. Really nice and clean. Uh, good job there. Really impressed. Um, trying to angle it to get in some of the, the corners and the face part of the house though with the uh, extension on there became a chore. Uh, but you know, tried by fire I am. I made it work. Um, I see a couple spots. I'm going to try to go back again with the uh, short hand, the ones that haven't engaged, to get into some really grimy spots. If you look up into the corner peak right there, there's a little bit of brown. That's from a wasp nest. Um, I didn't I didn't get that, but I can probably get that from the ground. Um, but I've just forgotten doing some other stuff. But you can see this all came out really nice with the soap. Worked really good. Like I said, be kind of conscious with that setting on how much soap is going in there because you'll go through a, a lot more than what you need to because it says on the uh, container of the soap uh, you can do so much per square inch and if I'm doing the math correctly I could have done like three houses so far with the amount that I've used so far so just be a, a smart guy there or gal um, but this is the house, it did pretty good, there was a uh, a freaking uh, two of them actually birds nest up into the corner of the house how am I gonna get that out no problem 34 psi see you later I blew that birds nest clear into the sky and it was fun just watching everything just like evaporate and when it was time to clean up it was so good because wherever you put water to that pressure washer that hose it's going whatever it touches it's going it's moving forward so it gives you a nice little chance to, uh, to clean up and go over some of your work. Um, and make sure it's clean and get all the suds off just by spraying it over it. But uh, back to the 34S PSI. Like I said, I haven't had to do any kind of maintenance work to it. All I've done was put gas in and I put oil in at one time. Um, I do kind of pay attention to this little window over here to see how much oil is in there. But I haven't lately. But last time I looked, it looked like it, it, it could, but, you know, those are the kind of things you want to know for sure. I'm definitely going to show this thing some love and give it an oil change, because I know water and shit's been getting in there, and I need to read the directions on how to use that pump oil and engine oil. I know it's separate things. But get get it, take care of it. It will do you some justice, make you some money. Um, like I said, you can do anything. I've, I've like gotten grease off of stuff, you know, and what doesn't come off... You know, you'll end up just taking up the, the ground or the wood or whatever you're holding that hose on for too long because this thing is just too freaking powerful. Don't hold it anywhere near your skin um, with that hose or sit around with your friends. Don't play with it near your eyes or neck area. It can cause damage if a pressure is applied. Um, I got a nice little cut on my hand yesterday, you know, just trying to do something of being reckless. Uh, Scrape skin right off of me. It hurt me for a little bit. I almost cried a little bit, but I didn't. So take it out. Um, I don't need to show you how it works, but let me see. I said it starts up on the first pull, and I just moved it from over there. I've been running it for about three hours. Um, on button is on. Let me see how many times it takes to pull right here. This is live, so whatever it does, it does. And like I said, this is how it sounds. Running. Right tip on 
the nozzle. If you don't have the right tip on the nozzle, it will not blow suds. When you get finished blowing suds through this tip, I would suggest rinsing your hose out by not putting your tip back on and let the water run through there for a little while after you remove the nozzle from the dewalk machine. This is the nozzle I'm talking about. Take this off and then rinse it. Pressure built up. My baby's ready to release. Alright, I'm doing this all by myself. So you gotta work with me. But I'll show you some of the power she's got. And what she wants to do. I'm all the way up in there now. I'm all up into the couch and feeling. Way up, I can go way up to the example. I'm that much higher in the house from the ground with this nozzle. I'm like way above the house. Okay, now the soap is starting to come out. I'm shutting this house down really good right now. Getting a lot of suds up here. Like I said, I trimmed down on the amount of suds that was releasing through the nozzle. It's gonna lose way too much. This stuff is supposed to be really good. The purpose of me putting this on is to get off whatever it can get off and also to kill the bacteria and fungi from growing again. It'll help out a little bit longer. Nothing's guaranteed, so if it grows back sooner or later, maybe it's because this side of your house gets a lot more darkness than the other side. But that's just nature. The problem should be a lot bigger than that be happy and have some gratitude in your attitude, it will determine your altitude. There you go. I'm soaking this house down pretty good. All this is up there pretty good. And notice that this side of the house is still, um, like the piles are still on it, so it's not super hot. You know what I mean? So it's not like drying up really quick. So I don't gotta rush. I really don't have nothing to do. I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to like save money with this shit. I'm just making a couple bucks doing this. I'm gonna pay for some good things. Maybe I'll go out and get some arrow for my, my bow and arrow. I need some new broadheads. But there it is for now. Mom's calling it. But... Okay, so there goes the water part right now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm done using the soap in the house. Let me go down on the little part. Let me go down on this part of the house too as well. I didn't go all the way down. Let me get this down part two. But I know that all the water is rolling down. It's going to get this part of the house as well. So, I just want to make sure it's wet when I go to exchange the nozzle. It's not going to take me that long, but there is a process before putting on the nozzle that I don't want you to undermine. And that is rinsing your hose out.
Okay, now, let me show you the distance, the range I'm getting with this extension nozzle from the ground first. Bam. I'm right up to the crescent part of that house with the nozzle. It's getting mad water. Don't, don't think about it like that. The water is definitely on there strong. My arm is a little tired. I gotta use two hands like I would be doing in the real world if this is happening. Yep. Now I'm going down the side. All that's wet all up in there. All the soap is coming off right about now. It's dripping down. But I still haven't gave it the high pro touch. I'm just showing you what I can do from the ground. Now I'm about to go on the ladder. When you climb the ladder, always have three points of contact. I learned that in school, but it's a freaking object if you ask me. Well, I slipped before, I'm gonna be driving on the truck. Here's what